Set, Grace? Are they set? Welcome everyone, uh, if Jen Forster and the color guard would please come forward, everyone please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Star Spangled Banner. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our young ladies could come forward.
Thank you very much. Everyone can have a seat. Welcome everyone, friends, family, community members, parents, extended family. Uh, welcome to the 2002 graduation ceremony for the Hampton Bay Secondary School. Uh, before we begin our ceremony, I'd like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. J. Bruce McKenna, who would like to say a few words. Thank you, Sam. On behalf of the family of the Hampton Bay Schools, it is my pleasure to welcome everyone to this celebration. The Board of Education, Administration, and staff extend our heartfelt congratulations to the members of the class of 2002. We are indeed proud of each and every one of you. May each of you be blessed in whatever choice you make with respect to the next chapter in your life. This graduation is a true commencement. It is a new beginning for you. One of the beautiful things about America is that if you can dream it, you can do it. Make your dreams become your reality. Set lofty goals. Try to bring into alignment your avocational interests, the things you like to do, with your vocational interest. Nothing brings you more satisfaction than truly enjoying your career choice. Work can be pleasurable. It doesn't have to be a drudgery. Let me put a plug in for teacher or even school administration. When you teach, you touch the future. Whatever you decide to do, I know you will do it well. You have been well prepared. Don't be strangers, come back and visit. Your teachers will love to hear about your successes, and so will Sam, Rob, Mark, and I. My best to each and every one of you. God bless. Thank you, Dr. McKenna. Our program contains a detailed explanation of our awards and scholarships. And the award sheet, which is normally kept separate until the end of the ceremony, is now attached inside the program. Refreshments are available at the hospitality table, generously provided by the PTSA. The table is located uh, behind the bleachers. It is appropriate that we begin this ceremony by acknowledging some of the people who made this day possible for all of us. We owe a debt of gratitude to our community and its elected members, the Board of Education, who have given of their time, energy, and talents to set the direction for our students and staff. The competence and caring of our professional staff has assured the success of our graduates. I would like to especially thank all of the spo scholarship sponsors for their generosity and continued support of our students committed to academic excellence. As always, Special thanks to the PTSA and Mrs. Braddock for her leadership. They have been a consistent source of encouragement and support. My personal thanks goes to our superintendent, Dr. J. Bruce McKenna, my assistant principal, Mr. Nick, and to my director of guidance, Mr. Meyer. A special thanks goes to my secretary, Mrs. McGuire, who has spent countless hours these last few weeks to make sure every detail was ready for the ceremony. My thanks to all of the counselors, faculty, and staff members who are in attendance here today to help honor the class of 2002, and to their class advisor, Mr. Orado, who has worked with them throughout this year. Most of all, I thank you, the parents and the family of our graduates. I recognize the amount of love, understanding, time, and energy that went into getting these graduates to where they are today. It's now my pleasure to introduce the salutatorian of the Hampton Bays class of 2002, Megan Rose Warner. Some of Megan's accomplishments throughout her years here at Hampton Bays are, she's a member of the National Senior Honor Society, varsity club member, Senior High Mathletes member, Senior High Student Council representative, SAD Interact member, Big Brothers Big Sister volunteer, 2002 Scholar Athlete team member, four years varsity basketball player, two years track and field, one year cross country, one year soccer. I give you Megan Rose Warner. A 
I would like to start off by giving special thanks to all those people who helped me make it here today. To my teachers, especially Ms. Kosky, Mr. McGeehan, and Ms. A. To my true friends whom I had the memories of a lifetime with. To my wonderful parents for their endless love and support. And most importantly, my grandpa. Through all my different experiences, the most important lessons I've learned throughout high school can be summed up in these simple passages. You can't be all things to all people. You can't do all things at once. You can't do all things equally well. You can't do all things as well as everyone else. You have to find out who you are and be that. You have to decide what comes first and do that. You have to discover your strengths and use them. You have to learn not to compete with others and only strive to better yourself. You have learned to accept your own uniqueness. You have learned to set priorities and make decisions. Learn to live with your limitations, and through all this, learn to give yourself the respect that is due. Dare to believe that you are a wonderful, unique person, that it's more than a right, it's your duty to be who you are, and that these high school years are not a burden to deal with, but a time to cherish. My only advice for the future comes from the infamous Jimmy Buffett. We gotta roll with the punches, play all of our hunches, make the best of whatever comes our way. Forget that blind ambition, learn to trust your intuition, plowing straight ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. I would now like to present the awards and scholarships. Students, please come to the podium when your names are called. Will Mr. Tefano, our Board of Education President, and Dr. McKenna please come up? <laughs> Luisa Agudelo. Luisa has been selected to receive the Vera Di Benedetta Memorial Scholarship. This is a new $2,000 scholarship. It is dedicated to the memory of Vera Di Benedetta, a former Hampton-based teacher and Mother's Club president who devoted her life to the education of ch children. In addition, Luisa has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. She is planning to attend Suffolk Community College in the fall. Thank you, Luisa. Anastasia Mary Alfaro. Stacy is the winner of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Phyllis Fusco Memorial Award. She was chosen by the Hampton Bay's Booster Club as the winner of the John J. Pizzarelli All Around Athlete Award. She was selected by the Veterans of Foreign Wars Post Number 5330 as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. As one of our athletes, Stacy received the Long Island Leadership and Sport Recognition Award. Stacy will be attending Johnson & Wales in the fall, where she has received a $5,000 Presidential Scholarship Award. Congratulations, Stacy. John R. Bartley. John has been selected as one of our Thespian Society Award winners. He's planning on attending Suffolk Community College in the fall. Thank you, John. <laughs> Catherine Ann Balcom. <laughs> Catherine has been selected by the Hampton Bays Volunteer Ambulance Corps to receive their Matthew E. Wilson Memorial Citizenship Award. She will be attending Suffolk Community College in the fall. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Timothy W. Bickford. <laughs> Tim is the winner of the Hand Alderich American Legion Post Number 924 PFC Ronald Simmons Memorial Award. He has been selected to receive the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. He was a runner-up of the 2001 Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Empire Boys State Award. Tim is a recipient of a $500 Monday Night Band of Riverhead Award. He has been selected by the Hampton Bays PTSA as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. He's also been selected by the Hampton Bays Volunteer Ambulance Corps as a winner of their Matthew E. Wilson Memorial Citizenship Award. Tim is the winner of 
of the $500 Ginny Jones Murata Scholarship. He's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society, and he has earned a Presidential Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Tim will be attending Berkeley College of Music in the fall. Congratulations, Tim. Daniel J. Bauer. Dan is a runner-up of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Sergeant John Kutcher Memorial Award. He is a recipient of a $500 driver's seat restaurant Robert A. Milliken Scholarship. He was sec selected by the Hampton Bay's PTSA as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. He's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society. Dan has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, and he's planning on attending Northeastern University in the fall. Good luck, Dan. Marcin Wojnowski. Marcin is the winner of the William H. Daniel Memorial Award. He is the recipient of a $500 New York State Education Department Academic Excellence Award. He's received the 2002 Suffolk County Science Teachers Association Award and has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Marcin will be attending the University of Hartford in the fall. Thank you, Marcin. <laughs> Melissa Sue De Jesus. Melissa is a recipient of the Mark Ligotti Memorial Scholarship. She plans to join the workforce after graduation. Congratulations, Melissa. <laughs> Michael Russ DeRosa. Michael was chosen by the Hampton Bays Booster Club as the winner of the John J. Pizzarelli All-Around Athlete Award. He is the recipient of the Brian Tucker Memorial Award. He was selected by the Hampton Bays PTSA as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. He's the runner-up of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Lieutenant Michael Hornet Memorial Award. Mike is the winner of the Mark Sinclair Memorial Scholarship. He was a runner-up of the 2001 Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Empire, Empire Boys State Award. As one of our athletes, he received a Long Island Leadership in Sport Recognition Award, and he has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Mike is planning to attend Salisbury University in the fall. Congratulations, Mike. John E. Dew III. John is one of this year's Thespian Society Award winners. After graduation, he'll be enlisting in the Air Force. Best of luck to you, John. Krista J. Fuhrman. Krista was selected by the Hampton Bays Lions Club as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. She is receiving the Robert Fountain Choral Music Award. She received the $500 New York State Education Department Academ Academic Excellence Award. She is a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society. Krista has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. She will be attending John Jay College of Criminal Justice in the fall. Thank you, Krista. Jennifer Lynn Forster. <laughs> Jennifer was selected as the winner of the $4,000 Kiwanis Club Scholarship. She is a recipient of a $2,500 Southampton, Southampton Hospital Stanley R. Becker Scholarship. She is the winner of the $1,000 Hampton Bays Rotary Dr. Robert Fallett Award. She is a runner-up Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Sergeant John Coulter Memorial Award. She is the winner of a $500 Bridgehampton National Bank Award, and she was selected as the Bridgehampton Student of the Month for March 2002. 
Jen is a winner of the Catholic Daughters of America John Philip Sousa Band Award. She was selected by the Hampton Bays Booster Club to receive their Doc Fallett Memorial Athletic Award. She was chosen by Hampton Bays Lions Club as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. Jen was selected by the Hampton Bays Teachers Association as a winner of their 2002 Memorial Award for $750. In her sophomore year, she won the Hugh O'Brien Foundation Academic Excellence Award. Jen is receiving the Principal Certificate of Merit Award for Leadership and is president of both the Senior Class and Senior High Student Council. This award is well deserved. She is a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society and has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Jen is planning to attend York College in Pennsylvania in the fall. Congratulations, Jennifer. John James Foster, Jr. John is the winner of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Sergeant John Kutcher Memorial Award. He was also the 2001 winner of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Empire Boys State Award. John is receiving a Southampton Hospital Recognition Award. He was selected by the Hampton Bays Lions Club as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. He was chosen by the Hampton Bays Teachers Association to receive their 2002 Health Profession Award for $750. As one of our athletes, John received the Long Island Recognition and Sport Award. He's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society. He's earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. John plans to attend University of East Stroudsburg in the fall. Thank you, John. Leon Paul Green. Leon is receiving the John Harris Memorial Scholarship. He's earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Leon will be attending Suffolk Community College in the fall where he's received a Presidential Scholarship for full tuition and books. Congratulations, Leon. John L. Hansen. John is the winner of the $1,000 Core J Seafood Corporation Scholarship. He is a recipient of a Woody Herman Jazz Award. He is a winner of a $400 Bellport Teachers Association Scholarship. He's earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. John is planning to attend LIU Southampton in the fall, where he's received an Academic Excellence Award of $6,000 per year. Thank you, John. <laughs> Jason Robert Hubner. Jason was selected by the Hampton Bays Rotary as the 2002 winner of their $4,000 scholarship. He is the winner of the $4,000 New York State Lottery Leaders of Tomorrow scholarship. He was selected by the Hampton Bays Booster Club to receive their Scholar Athlete Award. He was the 2001 runner-up of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Empire Boys State Award. He's receiving a Hampton Bays Senior High School Student Council Business Technology Award. He's received the $500 New York State Education Department Academic Excellence Award. As an athlete, he was awarded a Long Island Recognition and Sport Award. He's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society and has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Jason will be attending Siena College in the fall where he's been awarded an academic scholarship for $4,000 per year. Congratulations, Jason. Elizabeth Marie Hughes. Liz has been selected as the winner of a $3,000 Art Jones III Memorial Scholarship. This is a new scholarship this year. It was established by the family and friends of Artie Jones, a former Hampton Bays graduate who died, who died tragically on September 11th. She's the winner of the Mark Sinclair Memorial Scholarship. She's receiving the Vincent Sparta Memorial Scholarship. She is a recipient of the Potunk Lounge 
uh, 1071 Free and Accepted Masons, Thomas Sinixon Memorial Award. This is also the winner of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Corporal William J. Gannon Memorial Award. She was selected by Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 5330 as one of their 2002 scholarship winners. She is a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society and has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Liz plans to attend SUNY at Gen Geneseo in the fall. Congratulations. Emily Ann Carpen. Yeah. Emily was a runner-up Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Phyllis Fusco Memorial Award. She was awarded the 2002 Suffolk County Girls Gymnastics Coaches Association Spirit of the Olympic Flame. She's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society. Emily has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, and she plans to attend Arizona, uh, excuse me, Arizona State University in the fall. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Joseph Robert Maloney. Joe was selected by the Hampton Bays Booster Club to receive their Stephen Hepter Memorial Award. He will be attending Southern Vermont College in the fall. Thank you, Joe. Erica T. Marcucci. Erica is the winner of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Sergeant John Kutcher Memorial Award. She's receiving a $1,000 Old Town Masonic Lodge Number 908 of Free and Accepted Mason Scholarship. She is the winner of a Hampton Bay Civil Service Employee Association Award. Erica was selected as a Bridgehampton Student of the Month for November 2001. She will be attending the College of St. Rose in the fall where she's been awarded a $3,000 academic scholarship. Congratulations, Erica. Sean Neil Meehan. <laughs> Sean is receiving a $500 Emil Norsick and Son Scholarship Award. He's planning to attend Franklin Pierce, where he's received a success scholarship in the amount of $8,000 per year. Best of luck to you, Sean. Melissa Ann Muse. <laughs> Melissa was se selected by the Hampton Bays Booster Club as the winner of the Stephen Hefter Memorial Award. She is receiving Hampton Bays Civil Service Employee Association Award. She is a recipient of a $500 Hampton Bays Fire Department Award. She is the winner of the John Lamondola Music Award. She was selected as a Bridgehampton Student of, of the Month for June 2002. She is a recipient of the Sandy Mander Memorial Scholarship. Melissa was chosen by the Hampton Bay's Teacher Association as their 2002 Field of Education Award for $750. She is a recipient of a $500 New York State Education Department Academic Excellence Award. She's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society. Melissa has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, and she will be attending St. Joseph's College in the fall, where she has received a $5,000 per year Scholastic Achievement Award. Congratulations, Melissa. David Matthew Peters. David has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. He will be attending LIU Southampton in the fall. Thank you, David. <laughs> Stephen Vincent Palero.
Steve is receiving a Hampton Bay's Senior High Student Council Business Technology Award. He is the winner of a $1,000 Suffolk County Superintendents of Building and Grounds Association Award. He's earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Steve plans to attend SUNY at New Pools in the fall. Thank you, Steve. Tara Rose Palakis. Tara is the winner of the Hampton Bays Chamber of Commerce Award. She is receiving the Patrick, Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award. She is a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society and has also earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Tara will be attending Parsons School of Design in the fall. Good luck, Tara. Oleg Pozniakov. Oleg is receiving a Hampton Bay's Senior High Student Council Business Technology Award. He plans to attend Suffolk Community College in the fall. Thank you, Oleg. Denise Marie Spellman. It is her birthday. Happy birthday. Denise is the winner of a new $500 Daughters of the American Revolution Scholarship Award. She will be attending Emanuel College for the fall semester. Thank you, Denise. Casey Melinda Squires. Casey is the winner of the Michelangelo Lodge Number 2451 Scholarship. She was selected as a Bridgehampton uh, Student of the Month for two December 2001. She's also a Thespian Society Award winner. Casey plans to attend LIU at Southampton in the fall. Congratulations, Stacey. Casey. <laughs> Marie St. George. Marie is receiving an Abraxas Literary Contribution Award. She'll be attending Suffolk Community College in the fall. Thank you, Marie. Christopher M. Vant. Chris has been selected to receive the Hampton Bay Senior High School Student Council Business Technology Award. He has plans to attend SUNY at Morrisville in the fall. Good luck, Chris. <laughs> Susan Jolene Vermet. Susie is a recipient of a Thespian Society Award. She is a runner-up of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 PFC Ronald Simmons Memorial Award. She is a runner-up of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Corporal William J. Gannon Memorial Award. She is a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society and has also earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Susie is plan planning to attend Five Towns College. Thank you, Susie. Jarrett Walsh. Jarrett is the recipient of a $3,000 Art Jones III Memorial Scholarship. He's a recipient of a $500 driver's seat restaurant Robert A. Milliken Scholarship. He is the winner of the Hand Aldrich American Legion Post Number 924 Lieutenant Michael Hornet Memorial Award. 
He's been selected by the Hampton Bays Booster Club as a winner of their Doc Fallett Memorial Athletic Award. He's receiving a Veterans of Farm Wars post number 5330 $500 scholarship. Jared has also earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. He will, go, he will be going to Salisbury University in the fall. Congratulations, Jared. Shane Michael Wargola. Shane is the winner of a $500 Hampton Bays Fire Department Award. He's been selected by Hampton Bays Lions Club for one of their 2002 scholarships. He plans to attend SUNY at New Pools in the fall. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> Joseph C. Zatarga. Joe is a recipient of a $500 Emil Norsick and Son Scholarship Award. He is planning to attend SUNY at New Pools in the fall. Good luck, Joe. Yeah. I'd now like to call the salutatorian, Megan Warner, to the podium. Megan is the winner of $1,000 Old Town Masonic Lodge No. 908 of the Free and Accepted Mason Scholarship. She is a recipient of the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. She received the 2001 Rensselaer Polytech Institute Scholarship. Megan was a winner of the 2001 Bosch and Lohm Honorary Science Award. She's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society and also earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. She will be attending Arizona State University in the fall, where she has been awarded a $4,000 per year Sun Devil Scholarship. Congratulations, Megan. Now my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2002, Kimberly R. Mangle. Some of, well, hang tight, Yelena, we're not done with you. Some of Kim's accomplishments, uh, let's start again. Some of Kim's accomplishments, oh, right, accomplishments, I got it, okay. Member of the mock trial team, Southampton Youth Court team, 2002 Scholar Athlete team member, four years volleyball, 2001 All League Volleyball team, 2002 All League Volleyball team, four years gymnastics, two years as captain, 2002 All Academic Gymnastics, and she's a member of the National Senior Honor Society. Now, to her awards. Kim was recognized as a National Merit Commended Scholar in 2001. She is a recipient of a Daughters of the American Revolution Award. She is receiving a $500 driver's seat restaurant Robert A. Milliken Scholarship. She was selected by the Hampton Bays Booster Club as their Scholar Athlete Award winner. Kim received the 2001 University of Rochester Humanities Social Science Award. As an athlete, she received the Long Island Leadership in Sport Recognition Award. She's a member of the Optimist Chapter of the National Senior Honor Society. She also has earned a President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. She plans to attend Wesleyan University in the fall. First, congratulations, Kim. And now I would like to turn the microphone over to the class of 2002 valedictorian, Kimberly R. Mangle. because white was never really my color. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for loving and supporting me through everything, in addition to all my family all over the East Coast. I'd also like to thank a couple people who have really affected me. Arlene Stickle for unconditional love and understanding. Mr. Myers for always standing up for me. Mrs. Muse for her compassion and humanity in dealing with our everyday problems. 
Mr. McGeehan for understanding our passions and always giving us a second chance. To all my teachers who gave me hope and inspiration, our hardworking custodial staff, you guys rock. I also thank my coaches, Ms. Dawson, Ted, Ms. Jackson, and Flop, for your faith in me. My Aunt Debbie, only the good die young. I'll love and miss you forever. My baby sister for a beautifully idealistic heart. Mr. Nick for giving me the drive to be here today. Something that will force me to see in all my future endeavors. The Gators crew, my second family, and all my friends for their unending love, support, good times, tears, laughs, and everything in between. Today I'd like to make a plea to the seniors of 2002 who freedom begins today, but will only remain if we as a generation make it remain. Some horrific events occurred this year. Our nation was brought to its knees in the name of hatred and cult-like passion. September 11th, I cried with the rest of our country for our missing and deceased fellow citizens. However, today, I cry for our missing and dying freedoms. Freedom is what defines our country, is what makes our spirit unbreakable, our passion boundless, and our society vulnerable. We proudly call ourselves Americans, not because we have the right to agree with the government of the masses, but the right to disagree. In times of fear and grief such as these, we must be careful as a people to pay attention to the world around us and to, above all, tre treasure our various freedoms, the lifeblood of our nation. In times of chaos and disorder, freedoms taken away will never be returned. Don't let fear change our nation forever. Stand up for your freedom, stand up for your beliefs, and stand up for yourselves. I wish you all the best of luck, all of you the ability to change the world. It's been a pleasure knowing all of you. We'll always have these memories. Love, peace, and hope to all of you. I don't know, I think White suited her very well, but... <laughs> The class of 2002 has been very generous and has presented the Hampton Bays High School with a brand new barbecue to be used for future school events. Thank you, class of 2002. Students, students for many years uh, will come to benefit from your generosity. Today, these young men and women pass an important milestone in their lives, graduation from high school. It marks the end of a high school career and the beginning of a future filled with promise. Graduation from high school is an achievement. As faculty, staff, administrators, and parents, we are proud of your accomplishments. We've got trouble with that word, for sure. We are proud of you all. The opportunities that are available to you today have been made possible by the efforts of others as much and as often as by your own efforts and abilities. As graduates, what you hope to become must be driven not only by your own needs, but also by the recognition of the needs of others. Some brief statistics on the class of 2002. There are 86 graduates in this class of 2002, 37 women and 49 men. 13 are members of the National Honor Society, 26 received New York State Regents diplomas, 6 with honors. 20 of our graduates will be going on to the workforce, 3 will be joining military services. 67 members of the class have applied for admission and have been accepted at schools such as, and this is an abbreviated list, Arizona State University, Berkeley College, Berkeley College of Music, Briarcliff College, Emanuel College, Franklin Pierce, John Jay College of Criminal Justice, Long Island University, Southampton, Motorcycle Mechanics Institute, pa Parsons School of Design, Salisbury University, Siena College, St. Joseph's College, Suffolk Community College, SUNY, SUNY schools at Farmingdale, Geneseo, Morrisville, and New Paltz. The College of St. Rose, University of East Stroudsburg, University of North Carolina, Wesleyan University, and York College of Pennsylvania. Twenty of our graduates have been involved in college-level courses in English, Calculus, American History, and Physics. Fifteen have attended vocational programs at Harry B. Ward Technical Center, Brookhaven and Islip Technical Centers, and the Suffolk Aviation Academy at the Nat Center in Brookhaven. Eleven of our varsity athletic teams, for a total of 137 athletes, received New York State recognition as scholar-athlete teams. To be eligible for this award, the team must have a cumulative quarterly average of better than 90%. The salutatorian, Megan Warner, has a weighted average of 100.055.
Valedictorian Kimberly Mangles four-year high school weighted average is 101.478. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Hampton Bays Secondary School Class of 2002. A graduate is a person who's completed a course of study at a school and has received a degree or diploma. And yet graduation is also known as commencement, the act or time of commencement, commencing, beginning, to start. This day is one you'll long remember. This past year, most especially, is one we'll never forget. A year that will go down in history. A year where all Americans together experienced a commencement. A new beginning of intolerance to injustice. A fresh outlook towards the true meaning of freedom. Freedom is liberty. It is independence. As President Bush told this year's West Point graduates, you have a responsibility to preserve freedom. That awesome responsibility lies upon your shoulders, graduates. You are the generation that will lead us in America's battle to uphold the American dream. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I remind you again, graduates, commencement is a beginning, not the finish. This is but the close of a very important chapter. The people who get on in this world, says George Bernard Shaw, are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they can't find them, make them. I ask you today, what will you make of your circumstances? Will you use what you've learned at Hampton Bays to benefit others? Will you take your strengths, your special talents, and fine tune them at a college, a university, or a vocational school? Will you serve your country to protect America's right to be free? Will you give back to your community by providing goods and services? Lee Iacocca phrases it perfectly. Get all the education you can, but then, by God, do something with it. Don't just stand there, make it happen. And so I challenge you today, make a difference, leave a legacy, set your goals high, and reach for the stars. At this time, At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. McKenna, Mr. Nick, Mr. Rado, and Mr. Tefano to come to the podium to call forward the class of 2002 in order they may receive their diplomas. Lisa Agudelo. <laughs> Anastasia Alfaro. <laughs> Catherine Anne Marie Borkum. Fiona Boyle. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Carroll. <laughs> Anna Serdas. Elizabeth Rebecca Da Costa. <laughs> Melissa Sue De Jesus.
Jacqueline Ann Figuring. Krista Joanna Fjorman. Jennifer Lynn Foster. Lisa Marie Gill. Diana Carolina Gracia. Sarah Gruby. Melissa Hand. Megan Elizabeth Horn. Jennifer Lee Jackson. <laughs> Emily Ann Carpin. <laughs> Megan Shannon Kelly. Gina Marie Kowalski. Rosemary Ludovico. Kimberly Renee Mangle. Erica Therese Marcucci. Darlene Jane Moynihan. <laughs> Melissa Ann Muse. Peterson Serdas. <laughs> Tara Rose Polakis. <laughs> J. 
Jamie Louise Roddy. Montserrat Ruiz. Kristen Smith. Denise Marie Spellman. Casey Melinda Squires. <laughs> Marie Emily St. George. Susan Jolene Vermette. <laughs> Megan Rose Warner. Matthew Ryan Alberts. <laughs> Matthew Anthony Alfaro. <laughs> John Bartley. Timothy William Bickford. <laughs> Daniel James Bauer. <laughs> Ryan Anton Bauer. John Christian Brushy. Christopher James Cariolo. Robert Carty. Robert Crawford Casabianca.
Andres Castaneda. Leo Chang. Marcin Hoynowski. Anthony D'Alessio. Michael Bubba DeRosa. John Edward Dew III. Christopher David Fargiano. John James Foster, Jr. Joseph Harrison Genovese. Alexander Peter Gottsfried. Leon Paul Green. <laughs> Justin Griffiths. Henry Giancarlo Guzman. Levy Hansen. Christopher George Hoffman. Jason Robert Hubner. Adam Matthew Lester. Jonathan Lodato. Joseph Robert Maloney. Sean Neil Meehan. David Matthew Peters. Richard Picari, Jr. Stephen Vincent Palero.
Oleg Pozniakov. Carlos Renderos. Ralph Rivera, Jr. Baron Leon Robinson. Adam Gray Rose. Juan Carlos Ruiz. Lionel Sanchez. Thomas Squires. <laughs> Brian Stinson. Jarrett Walsh. Brian Williams. Shane Michael Wagola. Christopher Zatarga. gentlemen, your class of 2002. Okay, gentlemen, ladies, it's time to make it official. If the class of 2002 would please stand. By the power vested in me in the Hampton Bay is board of, by the Board of Education and the New York State Education. Let's, let's start from scratch. By the power vested in me by the Hampton Bay is Board of Education and the New York State Education Department, I now pronounce you graduates of Hampton Bay's High School. Class of
I was going to say move their tassels, but I guess we don't have to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our alma mater. parents and family members. I want to thank you very much for sharing this special day with us today. Thank you very much for coming. Again, let me present to you the class of Hampton Bay Secondary School class of 2002.
you go. Guys, you must be like roasting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, if you'd like a copy, just put your name on a blank video tape. You can make it.